in this video I want to talk about living in a way today with people and yourself where you do not cause regret, sadness or guilt by treating others badly or treating yourself badly. So try living in a way basically which is integral, honourable, nice, kind, patient, compassionate and caring. So you don't actually like hurt other people's feelings and then later on you have to look back and feel sadness, guilt or remorse. So be super careful and sensitive to the feelings of other people and to their needs and life and emotions. To their mental state, their emotional state and their physical state. So care a lot, empathize, consider, be super careful and look at the stress that you cause others and try and stop and reduce that and look to bring happiness and positivity and goodness and nurture and joy to the hearts of other people. So you never have to look back in the future being sad. So you can be happy with how you've lived. And that's for me is a very free way of living. You know, you really care for other people a lot. And also care about the financial needs and the finances of other people. So just overall, like, be very kind and giving and generous um, with money and stuff. But other things too, within balance, like, don't deplete or exhaust yourself to make yourself sick and stressed yourself. Because you're a person, so you have to care for yourself too. But also don't be too tight with your money. And don't be too tight with sharing your things or even your time also to a degree. Um, how it fits into your life and you'll have a much nicer life like I think one of the top causes of depression is being disconnected and basically being selfish so when you look to include other people in your community in your heart in your group in your circle at least from your heart and you feel part of the big global group or the, the local group and um, you get to feel a part of and to contribute and to not to being of service and not contributing causes depression is one of the causes at least and to feel disconnected and alone is a very big cause of depression so I highly recommend getting plugged in and connected and view people as your family and friends and just basically reaching out and having more fun and being more open to the people letting your walls down so that's an element of also like living a fulfilling satisfying life old people like a part of the community they work in nature, they get exercise that's gentle, and they have a reason to live. And usually that involves a sense of responsibility of looking after some people or plants or animals. They're part of, of a group connected, or else they're family and loved ones, human-wise. So loners have no, they often don't have a reason to live. So I think what I'm saying in this video, I hope this helps you. and. I hope you deeply care. I hope this video helps you to deeply care more and to tune into your heart more and you can be much more happy and fulfilled and satisfied connecting with people and yourself, having much more fun and just connect reaching out, having laughs, jokes, humor, silliness, playfulness, fun with people. So you because you're not afraid of them anymore, you don't think of them as like threatening outsiders or strangers. And with the closest people in your life, you argue less because you care for them much more financially, their overall needs, their mental state, physical state, and emotional state. You care for their pain and suffering and hurt, their hardship and challenge, and you really, you're careful what you say to them as a result and what you do that's not nice, that's causing them stress. And then you start doing more of the stuff also that brings them happiness and joy and pleasure and to help promote their satisfaction and wealth, abundance, prosperity and their wellness in life. So that's all I want to say. And other than that, have a beautiful day. Thanks for your time and I wish you a beautiful day. And look after yourself in all ways, body, mind, spirit, okay? Get, eat lots of raw food or more raw food or learn about like overall raw food and organic food and a little bit more towards the vegan side of things as well is generally very helpful for most people eating like highly con contaminated animal food products so and get out of nature exercise rest sleep hydration balance joy connection everything and then you have a really healthier life okay bye everybody lots of love see you from british columbia do that <laughs> Thank you, Zoe, for recording. Is that the people saying?
<laughs> Thanks to Zilly for recording. Love you. See everybody. Lots of love. So subscribe if you're new and please like this video if you've liked it. If you want to work with me or learn more about me or get coaching from me, look at my information below, my website ownfox.org. Coaching is ownfox.org. Also helping your life, um, health coaching, relationship coaching and um, overall life or spiritual life coaching. And thanks for anyone who shares the video of course also or leaves a like or a comment.